Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is a slightly different episode today. I'm going to be launching a new series today. We're going to be looking at Qantas's current fleet and also looking at what their future fleet will look like as well as diving back into the past and looking at Qantas's historical fleet. But before we take a look at Qantas's fleet, let's take a look at some basic information about the airline. Qantas was founded on the 16th of November 1920 by three people, which are Hudson Farsh, Fergus McMaster and Paul McGuinness. It is the third oldest airline in the world behind KLM and Abbey Anchor. Qantas uh, stands for Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Services and is the biggest airline in the Pacific at the moment. Qantas also has two subsidiaries which are Qantas Link and Jetstar which will be reviewed in another episode just to save confusion and time. And last but not least, Qantas is one of the founding members of the Alliance which is One World. Qantas flew four A300s throughout the 1990s, which mainly flew East Coast routes in Australia, between the cities of Brisbane, Melbourne and Sydney, but it also sometimes flew to the West Coast, like Adelaide, to Perth. The last service uh, happened in August 1998, which was between Sydney to Melbourne, all four of the A300s were retired after that, where they have gone to Midex Airlines, where they were eventually retired in 2008. Qantas flew both the 767-200 as well as the Dash 300 variants. The first Qantas Boeing 767 was delivered to Qantas in 1985. Qantas originally used these aircraft for international routes, but then with a merger with Air Australia, they were mainly used for domestic routes. The last passenger service for the Boeing 767 was Melbourne to Sydney QF 767 on December 27, 2014. These aircraft were retired for the more fuel efficient A330s as well as the Boeing 737 variant. However, you can still see one of these Boeing 767 aircraft today still flying for Qantas, but it's under the Qantas freight variant. Qantas sold and retired these 767s where they either went to WestJet or they were scrapped for spare parts. In total, the Boeing 767 had 927,000 services and carried 167 million passengers in just over its 30-year history. Next up is the Boeing 747, otherwise known as the Queen of the Skies. The Boeing 747 entered Qantas's fleet on October 1971 and it left the airline halfway through 2020. It left earlier than expected due to COVID-19 and there not being enough demand to fulfil the aircraft's duties. During one stage of Qantas's history, the airline only operated Boeing 747s as they were waiting for the Boeing 767 to join the airline. This aircraft mainly flew high demand international routes like Sydney and Melbourne to LAX. And the Boeing 747 was replaced by the more fuel efficient Boeing 787. Now an aircraft that people normally don't think that Qantas operates was the DC-10 or the McDonnell Douglas DC-10. It was leased from Martin Air between 1987 to 1989 because Qantas was running low on capacity. It wasn't flown under the Qantas livery and was instead flown under the Martin Air livery. 
Moving on to the current fleet of Qantas, Qantas operate the A330 in both the A330-200 and the A330-300 variant. These aircraft are mainly used for west to east coast domestic routes as well as to the Asian as well as Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne to the likes of Singapore and Hong Kong. Two of these aircraft have currently been retired but the rest are still operating. Two of these aircraft have currently been retired but the rest are still operating under the Qantas brand. Qantas at this time still operate the largest passenger aircraft in the world which is the Airbus A380. This aircraft mainly flies international routes that are mainly across the Pacific Ocean from Australia to the USA. Also flies to the likes of London. All of the A380s are currently being stored around the world. Moving on to the smallest aircraft Qantas operate, which is the Boeing 737. Qantas operate four Boeing 737-300s and one Boeing 737-400 under their Qantas freight brand but they operate 75 Boeing 737-800s which are regularly flown by passengers. The majority of these planes fly domestically around Australia however a couple of them fly to the nearby Pacific nations like New Zealand and Fiji. The Boeing 737 is the smallest aircraft Qantas operate but it makes up the largest proportion of the airlines. Fleet. Moving on to the newest aircraft Qantas operate, which is the Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Qantas operate 11 of these things, with the first of the Boeing 787s being delivered to Qantas in 2017. Under Qantas, the Boeing 787 mainly flies to the USA and Asian cities from Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne. Moving on to the future planes Qantas have. Qantas have announced orders for up to 36 of the Airbus A321 XLR, which will be delivered starting from 2024. These will be used for its medium to long haul low demand routes, as well as opening up some new routes like Cairns to Tokyo. Qantas has also announced that they have ordered the Airbus A350-100 for what they call Project Sunrise, which is where Qantas aims to create an ultra long haul flights between the likes of Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane to JFK in London and other cities nearby by 2023. The carrier completed three research flights on the Boeing 787-9 aircraft to gather data on ultra long haul services. The A350 is what Qantas intends to operate these ultra long haul routes on, with the carrier ordering up to 12 of these type of the Airbus A350. That's all I have for this episode. If you liked this video, hit the like button and tell me what airline fleet I should make a video on next. That's all for now. See ya.